Well, Pete's here with me now, and uh, you know we've been watching this video from of, of the lightning from last night. You know, thanks to I want to thank John Mowry. There it is. There it is. All right, I want to thank John Mowry. He sent this uh, this from Waxahachie. It was. Uh, it was like a show in the sky. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was interesting. I'm still trying to get over that beating of that old old person. Uh, so uh, yes, let's transition into the lightning right now, and I, I, I want to show you a picture that someone sent me last night. So check this out. Uh, this was uh, Ron Ship. Now he combined 50 pictures last night, 50 photos combined to make up this lightning oh. strike here in Dallas. Hey, Trahan, this is a, hey, people at home can't get this out of the sports department. All right. Wow. That's incredible. Now check out, I have three videos. Here's the first one. This is Keith Maline last night. He, he tweeted me this one. I mean, it's just crazy stuff that we saw last night. That's one. Here's the second one. This is from China Robinson. Now hold on just a second. Here it comes. I mean, that's the kind of lightning we had across the area last night. And then this one's from Jessica Hansen. Hang with it for just a second. I mean, it was just like explosions up in the sky last night. And it went, even though the rain had ended, the lightning just continued. We had, this is what it looked like at six o'clock. And this huge line of lightning, thousands of lightning strikes moved in. And they lingered in the Dallas-Fort Worth area until after two o'clock in the morning. So we even had uh, lightning down around the Waco area at seven o'clock this morning. So why were these storms so electrified? last night. Well, number one, we just had abundant moisture across all of North Texas and within the thunderstorms, we just had some very strong dynamics. We had the, 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 the updrafts and the downdrafts were really, really intense within the thunderstorms last night, and this enhanced the collisions among the cloud particles. And with all of that taking place, we just simply had more electrical charges within the clouds. And because of all of those factors, that's why we had such an electrifying night last night across North Texas. We won't tonight. We are right now out around uh, Brownwood and Coleman, uh, also around Comanche off to the southwest of Fort Worth. That's where we have a pretty good cluster of thunderstorms right now, not here in the Dallas Fort Worth area. This is dropping toward Waco, moving toward Austin, big complex of storms, another MCS mesoscale convective system organizing right now, dropping into central Texas. It will miss us here in North Texas. It starts to fall apart as it approaches the I-35 corridor down around Waco, down around Austin later tonight. But for us, no severe weather over Overnight tonight, the severe weather threats well to the west of us and mainly down into a central Texas and the northern sections of hill country. As we head through the day tomorrow, we start cloudy, some clouds around in the morning and dry by noon. A little scattering of rain develops off to the southeast of the Dallas Fort Worth area. And then at three o'clock in the afternoon, Dallas Fort Worth locations east and southeast have a pretty decent coverage of thunderstorms around tomorrow. Still around at six o'clock in the evening, then they all fizzle out and then we try to clear out late tomorrow night. There is a low risk of severe storms tomorrow and it's not the uh, the level three that we had on Sunday and we've had the last three Sundays. It's not the enhanced risk. It's a level one, a one through a five, five being the highest. It's the lowest. It's some gusty winds, some pea to nickel, maybe up to some quarter size hail tomorrow afternoon. But overall, the severe threat tomorrow is low. Tonight, we're dry, a little warmer, mostly cloudy. 72 is the low tonight during the day tomorrow. About 30% of us in the Dallas Fort Worth area see rain. About half of area to the east of Dallas, about half of those locations. East Texas picks up showers and storms. High tomorrow's 89. Then we uh, start to dry out and we start to warm up. Funny how that happens. Less clouds, more sun, warmer temps, Joe. Learned that in my meteorology classes. 90 on Wednesday, 92 on Thursday, 93 on Friday, 92 on Saturday. A 10% chance of a thunderstorm Sunday, 91. First day of July, Monday, and then July 4th, as Sean Shawnee Boy Hamilton calls it, on Thursday. One week from this Thursday, it's the 4th of July. I just want you to know, I was thinking about you last night. Three minutes of video trained at the sky, trying to get that exact uh, great show that you showed it, tonight. It was and crazy I got lightning. He got no, you got, got one nothing. flash. Really? And it, he got one flash. It was, it was not minutes. nearly as good as what you showed. <laughs> I couldn't help you out there. No thunder, no there lightning in sports, but we do have winners.